from the city of Denton. This is a DTV News Break. Hello, I'm Aaron Zapata for the city of Denton with this DTV News Break. The last four years of Mean Green football haven't exactly gone to plan, but a new stadium and a new coaching attitude has already made a difference in 2011. Homecoming weekend couldn't have gone much better for head coach Dan McCarney. After starting the season 0-3, the Mean Green have won three out of five games and look like a new team. I, I see an attitude improvement, I see leadership improvement, I see playmaking ability improvement, I see chemistry improvement. Um, if you haven't bought in by now, you're going to be left behind. We're starting to open up the passing game, which I like for, personally. Uh, but we're ju we just need to be balanced on offense and you know continue to play great defense. Apogee Stadium has proven to be a tough place to play. With this latest win, UNT improves the 3-1 at the new venue, the best home record since 2004. This place is huge. You know, we're coming over from Fouts Field. The place was great, but that was, I mean, it almost felt like we were playing on the road again. It's an electric atmosphere. You know, we, we love playing at home, obviously. We play a lot better. Despite winning three or four home games, UNT is still struggling with fan support. So how does this problem get fixed? The more they win, the more fans will come out, you know. For the most part, there's real fans and there's fair weather fans. Most students are fair weather fans, you know, so when we start winning, they'll start coming. It's bringing fans back, it's giving, bringing students back, it's giving people a reason to want to come back. We're not where I want to be yet, obviously, with our home crowds, but they've been really, really good overall. The Denton Parks Department has a fun-filled Halloween weekend in store for Denton residents. It all kicks off on Friday evening at 8 with a free movie in Quaker Town Park. Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides will be shown, and other activities will include a marshmallow roast and crafts for the kids. Then on Saturday, the MLK Junior Recreation Center will host a free Halloween carnival from 10 to noon. It will feature games, face painting, a costume contest, and more. You can swing back by the rec center from 6 to 9 in the evening for a haunted house. The cost is $3 per person. Visit DentonParks.com to see a list of all activities organized through the Parks Department. For the City of Denton, that's the news for now. I'm Aaron Zapata.